As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hey, I had a few questions out there about Poshmark. And so at the end of this video, I want to make sure that I put a, a quick little hint and a suggestion on who to watch because I'm no Poshmark expert. I will say that my wife does sell a little bit on Poshmark. So check that out at the end of the video. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We're back in the eBay cave. We had another really good day of sales. Some more unique items going out. You know, I get a bunch of comments from people out there that watch a bunch of resellers and stuff. And one of the comments is that they enjoy the diversity of items that we sell. So I don't want you to, to, to make any mistakes here. I think that um, the reason we sell a diversity of items is because of where we live. I think I would be much, much more selective if I lived in a big city. So I don't even live in a small city. I live out in the middle of nowhere between two medium to small size cities in comparison to, to some of these metropolises we have. And because of that, there's not a, you know, a huge amount of yard sales. I don't get to pick and choose the yard sales I go to very often. I basically go to the ones that are out there. And because of that, we're picking some interesting items and we're going kind of digging deep. Uh, and I do sell some cheaper items. Um, because that's that's all we have so um, I think maybe that's what makes it a little bit more interesting to see some of these different items and, and some people are like hmm, I would have never thought to sell that and I have learned so much from from a few of you that comment all the time especially comment on the video and say hey you missed this item or you missed this item and sometimes I did miss the item sometimes there's something wrong with it it's it's sticky it's dirty it's broken um, and sometimes um, sometimes I just flat missed it so at any rate, hopefully you enjoy the show. Hopefully you enjoy it. The, the response has been overwhelming. We try to get back to everybody's comments, but like I said, I'm back in school. It's a little bit hard. So at any rate, we had a great day, and we're uh, happy to show you what we sold. We sold $277.52 out of the Commonwealth Picker Store. Nothing sold out of the Homeschool Hustler Store, which is why you don't see Turner or Reagan down here. So when, when we have something sell out of there, we have Turner and Reagan. Usually when we don't have something sell out of there, I rattle the uh, peanut jar because Sophie likes peanuts and I bring her down here and she sits over here. 
but she didn't want to come today. I think she wants to snuggle with Blue Ridge Mama up there. I don't know what she's doing. Any rate, let's take a look at what's up. This is the first item going out. It's just a regular Liberty University t-shirt. This is the second straight day. We've sold a size small, nothing special. It's made to look vintage. And it probably paid 50 cents or a quarter. Maximum, we paid a dollar at Goodwill for this t-shirt. And 71 is the year the university started. And even if we paid a buck, we're looking at, uh, let's see, 255, we're looking at about a 475 profit if we paid a dollar. And so if we paid 50 cents, we're looking at five and a quarter. If we paid a quarter, we're looking at 550. I don't know, it's not a lot of money, but I sell dozens and dozens of these a year and they're so easy. I snap three pictures of them. I snap a picture of the front, I snap a picture of the tag for the size, and I turn around, snap a picture of the back and post it up there. And we have a sale at some point, it takes up no space to hang it up, and we're good to go. All right, next item out there is a viewer sale, and I want to give a special shout out to a special viewer out there, Lizzie. Thank you so much for purchasing this, and we'll make sure we get this out to you really, really quickly. All right, appreciate it. This was a buy. My wife bought this, Blue Ridge Mama bought this. I think it was a buy at um, Goodwill. And it is a Made in the USA shirt, Planet Hollywood, and that's what makes it have a little bit more value in Honolulu, which is fairly rare. It's been hanging around for quite a while. It sold for $20.50. That's free shipping. Technically, it sold for $12.95 plus shipping. So, Next item is a video game sale, and this is an Xbox 360, and this item sold for $17.95. $17.95. Next item up is an interesting one, and it was a throw-in. We bought a ton of Mickey stuff down at a Roanoke yard sale. I can't quite get to it, and I did it with my brother down there and bought a ton of Mickey stuff for like a buck a piece and sold a few pieces off and were well into the profit. And so to sweeten the deal, I had him throw in these uh, magnetic bumper stickers um, just to make the deal work. So they wouldn't budge on their price. I'm like, well, okay, then let's throw these in. I think there was four of them total and we put a price on them of 10 bucks a piece, free shipping. So we're gonna end up making about six or seven dollars profit on each one of these, about six, I guess. And there's four, so $24. So we were trying to get them to come down off a of price five more bucks, and they wouldn't. So we had them throw this in, and we're gonna end up making $24 instead of saving the five we would have originally saved. So if I have one piece of advice for you yard sailors out there, it's bundle, 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 and bundle. All right, so Amazon isn't the only place you can sell books. Now, I bought these books. Actually, I bought them from a pastor, a local pastor who lives in Lynchburg. And there are 17 in all. I believe these were his father's um, before his. His father must have been a pastor as well. He had all kinds of religious books. I, I know this, this pastor. Uh, I don't know him personally, but I know of him. I've met him a few times in the past. And he's a really nice guy. And he had one request um, when I was buying them. He was putting good prices on things. He said, I hope they end up in a good home. And I told him, I said, they're not going to end up in my home, but they are going to end up in a good home. So this is the Expositions of the Holy Scripture, um, Alexander McLaren. And there's a 17 in all. Okay, And they're going out, and this price, you'll be pretty happy to... Uh, he'll, he would be probably surprised to know the price, but happy to know they're going to a good home. And this sold for $150 plus shipping. So it'll go media mail shipping. We paid $25 for all of these books and four or five other sets of books. So we're going to make a pretty good profit on these. So we're happy to get them out and get them sold and get a little bit more space in here. I don't know if you can see them back there. You see those back there? So we're going to make quite a bit of space to bring in some of these other yard sale hauls that we've been doing lately. The next set of books, we bought at a different yard sale, and these are also religious books. This is entitled, well, I can't even see it at this point, Alice in Bible Land. Alice in Bible Land. And I had never heard of these. My wife had heard of these. And I think that this set, when I saw it, I was like, I think, I couldn't remember the price they had on it. We ended up paying five bucks, I think. Um, and pretty happy with that because they sold for 
plus shipping, so it should be a nice little $35 profit on these books. And this was at the unattended yard sale. This is the one that has the thumbnail. Um, I think it's the unattended yard sale. And it might be our most popular video up to this point, I think. And it's the one that has the thumbnail of all the Funko Pops on the wall. So this is a really nice sale and happy to have this moving out too. It gets some more space. So you can sell books here as well as on Amazon. Uh, Amazon, you're going to, you know, if you're going to sell books, you need to do it on Amazon. But that's not what I do most of the time. But I'm happy to sell books and I'm happy to sell Bibles. And I would encourage you to look. You're going to look and look and look and not find some good ones. But occasionally you're going to find some good ones and get a good little price for them. This is a quick little sale. It's only a dollar fifty profit, unfortunately. We are into the profit on all these video games we got from Tim the Toy Man. Actually, I think we got these from Tim the Toy Man. A lot of them had boxes with them, and I sold this one for five dollars and twenty-four cents, which translates to me to about a little less than a dollar fifty profit. So, not a great game here. It's called Dark Cavern. It's the Atari uh, twenty-six hundred. We sold a set of game pieces as well, and I've already got those shipped out, ready to go. Um, and then we sold the ever-famous Fleet Enemyan. Got rid of one of more of these. Um, love it when these guys sell. I think it's a hilarious little gag gift. I guess people um, who are in the medical field would buy them. I used to think, who in the world would buy this? And then I've got a few messages, and this one is going out to a viewer. So Sherry C. out there, and you have been extremely supportive of the, of the channel. You're always commenting. And we appreciate you very much. Appreciate you very much. You have a niece, I believe. You said that you're is graduating. I think is what you told me, and that this is going to go to her. So we appreciate it, and uh, we congratulate her as well. So thank you for your purchase. And if if anybody else is interested in a fleet in a man, uh, go to the description of the video below, and there's a link right at the top to the in a man. You can go right there. So. Uh, I'm going to actually start offering these for viewers a little cheaper. So if you want, and Sherry, we can do the same thing for you. If you send me a message on there, I'll remember to do it. If you don't, I'm, i got so many things in my mind right now, i probably forget. But if you go there and you send me a message from the Inaman, and you ask me to get it for, uh, if you can have it for $10, I'll send you an offer for $10. And uh, you can you can get it cheaper. I think they're on there for twelve eighty one. I think is what we have them on there. But if you're a viewer and want one of these, just hit that link and send me a message on eBay, and I'll uh, send you an offer for ten bucks, and we'll send one out. Okay. So if you got those white elephant parties out there for Christmas, this would be a great one to give. So at any rate, thank you guys so much, as always, for joining us, for commenting, for hitting the thumbs up. We really appreciate you. The the channel is growing like crazy. And we can't thank all the all the people who have supported us and supported this channel and all the other YouTube channels who have supported it as well. Um, we mentioned John Cincinnati Picker. He's just the most recent to mention us, and we really, really appreciate it. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. All right, so we are at the end of the video, so I told you to check this out at the end if you're interested in Poshmark. So my wife sells on Poshmark, and I've seen some questions about Posh, and I can't really answer them. I've had her answer a few of them out there, but... If you are interested in Poshmark, I think there's a channel that I watch often, and it's called Murrayed Life, and I'm going to put a link right up here to Murrayed Life. And she is a fairly new Poshmark seller, so I know she's willing to answer questions all the time. I know she has an Instagram page as well. And so I think it's important to sometimes follow a new person if you're a new person. And you can kind of, you know, experience the ups and downs, and she's having quite a bit of success another new person out there there are there are two out there that that do ebay and they're new and they do videos and that's rideshare reseller and midwest picker and they watch this show too and i want to say thank you to you guys but if you're if you're a brand new to this and you want to follow somebody new those are some good people to follow so thanks for joining us